All right, let's go ahead and install a Cronus Disk Director. Welcome to the channel, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable USB drive with a Cronus Disk Director, so you can work with disk partitions. And actually, this is a way better method to work with your partitions because when you load up your Windows, Windows already using some files on the hard drive. This way, sometimes it might cause issues when you try to resize or format some partitions. When you work before loading Windows, those partitions are not used and you can work with them freely. So let's go ahead and start it. So what you gotta do, you just gotta go ahead and start the current disk director on your computer. I already have it pre-installed, so we're just gonna go ahead and start it. It takes a few seconds to load up. Now when you get it all started, you gotta go to Tools and then go to Bootable Media Builder. Click Next. Here you can choose the bootable media type to create. I usually created a Linux based and choose the Windows like representation. This is gonna be easier to use for me. So go ahead and click Next. In this prompt, you don't have to change anything, so just go ahead and click Next again. And here it gives you options what you can install. You can also install a Cronus True Image as well as a Cronus Disk Director. If that's an option in your version, I would recommend installing both of them. This way you can create an image after you have installed your copy of operating system. And you can save some room, you don't have to use two USB sticks, so this is really awesome. Let's go ahead and install both of them here. So just click on everything. And here it also gives you options for 64-bit and 32-bit. Just install all of them because it only takes 780 megabytes. So it, I'm pretty sure your USB stick will be way bigger than that. So you can definitely have enough room on your USB stick. Then you just got to go ahead and click Next. And here be careful, you got to choose the proper USB stick. I have this PNY 128 gigabyte. And why I'm using such a huge capacity USB stick is because I don't have any smaller ones available at the moment and I don't want to delete any files from my other USB sticks. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this 128 gigabyte. But that's okay because it doesn't really matter which USB stick you're using. So go ahead and click next again. And you can skip this prompt and click next again. All right, now it gives you the summary of what you have chosen, the type of bootable media, what type of content is going to be recorded on the USB stick and which USB stick is going to be used. Let's go ahead and proceed. And if you're running into this error, let's go ahead and investigate what happened. If you have this window pop up, this is a great example. I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So right now, a Cronus Disk Director cannot create the bootable media because the provided media or our USB stick, in this case, it's our USB stick, is formatted in an unsupported file system. So it requires the USB stick to be formatted at FAT file system and we can easily do that. Let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, so because regular Windows tools do not let you format this disk in FAT file format, you can see it from this pop-up window. It only lets you format it in XFAT and NTFS file system, which is not the one that's required by a Cronus Disk Director, so we won't be able to format it into the right format. But there is a way around it. So you can actually use a Cronus Disk Director to format this drive. So right click on this USB stick and click Format. And you gotta choose FAT32 and this is the format that you wanna use to format this USB stick. The cluster size you can just put Auto and the label I'm just going to put PNY 128 gigabyte and click OK. Now just got to commit pending operation, continue. It's going to take a few seconds to do that. Once it's going to be finished, and we can go ahead and create the bootable media. OK, so now it's all done and we have our USB stack formatted in FAT32 file system format. Now we can create a bootable media. So let's go ahead and click on Acronis Bootable Media Builder, click Next. Go ahead and click next in this one, next in this one, choose both of them again, then click next again. And here where you're going to choose your USB stick, you can choose this again, PNY 128 gigabyte, click next. And now it's going to work because we have formatted it into the proper file system. So let's go ahead and click next again and click proceed.
There we go, right now the files are being copied to this USB stick and then we can use it before Windows starts and you don't need to actually have Windows installed to work with partitions. So this is gonna save you a lot of time. If you need to format it before you install an operating system on your machine, this is a really helpful tool to have. As well as having a Cronus True image on the USB stick is really helpful because you can create an image of your operating system and then you, when you need to recover your operating system, let's say Windows start glitching or it crashes, you can just reinstall it in like five minutes. This is gonna save you a lot of hassle, a lot of time. There we go, it's all done right now, so click OK. And if you go to the File Explorer, you can see it only took less than a gigabyte. You can see that all the files are copied, so right now it has bootable executive files that will start before your machine loads into Windows or any other operating system. And actually I do recommend if you can get like a cheap 16 gigabyte or 8 or 4 gigabyte USB stick, just create a bootable media and save it and have it sitting somewhere on your shelf. This way, if you ever need to work with the partitions on your computer, or if you need to create a, an image of your operating system or recover it, you don't have to go through this process again. Right now, the USB sticks are pretty cheap, so you can find a really low capacity USB stick, like eight gigabyte for dirt cheap, but this is a really handy tool to have in your toolkit. I'm now gonna be showing how to load a Cronus disk director before loading operating system. And now we're just gonna restart the computer and make sure to insert the USB stick in the back port on the computer where USB ports are located right on the motherboard. And this will allow it to boot properly, not on the front panel because it might not boot properly from the front panel. And another tip, if it's a USB 2.0, try to put it in USB 2.0 port because even though USB 3.0 and higher are reverse compatible with USB 2.0, sometimes the drivers don't wor work correctly and it might not boot properly from those newer USB ports. So keep that in mind. If for some reason it doesn't boot and you don't know what's happening, so make sure you put it in the rear port and also in the same USB 2.0. So let's go ahead and restart. going to be loaded we can start working with partitions resize them create new partitions format them whatever you want to do this is a really good and handy program to have as you can see on my laptop i only have one hard drive or actually it's an ssd drive and i have two partitions already but i'm going to create another partition so we can install linux on it so as you can see i have some room on my other partition the media so i'm just going to create another volume and for this what i'm going to do i'm just going to resize it a little bit so you got to click on this one and just click resize and then you can create some unallocated room. So let's just go ahead and let's say make it a hundred gigabytes exact. So I'm gonna allocate a hundred gigabyte for this new partition that I'm gonna create. So first we're gonna resize this media for D. So right now you can see we have another partition. It's not created yet, but we have freed up some space. So let's go ahead and just create it right here we're gonna click create volume this is just gonna be a basic one next and you want to have a file system FTSC cluster size you got to assign letter sure that no problem you can change it after this is gonna be a primary we're just gonna click finish now we have to click commit pending operations. It will take a few seconds and it's gonna commit pending operations and finish our resizing. 
this is that simple. It works exactly the same as under the Windows environment. So there shouldn't be any issues of using it. The major step is to be able to load it before Windows or other operating system starts so that none of the files on the disk are engaged and they're not used. So you can resize everything easily. None of the files will be used. And this is better than just using the resize tool in Windows through the Windows Disk Manager, because when you're resizing active partitions in Windows, it requires a restore. This way you don't need to restart anything. Everything works right away. So as you can see, we have created the partition. This is that simple. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like it, please support with your like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. If you have comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. But this is it for now. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.